students, Ms. Swanson here, and today we have our first lesson in the Climate Change Unit, and it's on the Global Climate System. Now as you can see from this picture here, the Global Climate System is a pretty complex thing. We've got convection currents, thermohaline circulation, albedo, the absorption and reflection of sunlight, We've got all sorts of things happening there. Now we're not going to learn absolutely everything in this diagram, although we will learn some of the concepts, including those words that I just mentioned now. You'll know what those are by the end of the unit. But what about today? These are our learning goals for this lesson. You should be able to describe the four parts of the Earth's climate system, and you should be able to describe the energy source for the Earth's climate system. Before we can get into that, let's just talk about the difference between weather and climate because it is an important difference and sometimes people confuse these two very different concepts. Weather is the conditions over a very short period of time and includes things like temperature, precipitation, wind, and so on. So when we talk about weather, we would say, what's the weather like today or what's the weather going to be like this week? Climate, on the other hand, is over a long period of time, for example, over several years or several decades. When we talk about the climate of a certain region, we're still looking at precipitation, temperature, wind, and all of those factors, but average temperature or average precipitation over a very long period of time gives us the climate. Now let's get into the components of the Earth's climate system. There are four of them. The first one is atmosphere, and that's the air. The next is hydrosphere, and that's the water. That includes liquid water, uh, water that's in the gas form or the solid form. Lithosphere, which is the ground, and that includes not just what we're standing on now, but the ground underneath the oceans and that sort of uh, area. And then the biosphere, which is everything that's living, and that would be animals, plants, bacteria, absolutely everything that's considered living. Now the source of energy for the Earth's climate system is the sun. So all of our energy comes from the sun. When we talk about the energy from the sun and how it reaches the Earth, there are a few different things that can happen. Some of that sunlight comes into the Earth and it gets absorbed by the Earth. Some of it hits the Earth and it gets reflected back out into space. Some of it comes and before it can even hit the earth it hits some clouds and maybe it gets absorbed by them or sometimes it will get reflected by them. So there are different uh, situations for what can happen with the sunlight um, and we'll see based on what sort of gases are in the atmosphere sometimes that can change the percentage of sunlight that's being reflected or absorbed in different areas. And when we talk about the greenhouse effect we'll get a little bit more into that sort of scenario. So here are our learning goals again. You should be able to describe the four parts of the Earth's climate system, and you should be able to describe the energy source for the Earth's climate system. If you can do all of these things, fantastic. If not, please re-watch the video, and if you're still having trouble, come ask me in class tomorrow. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.